What's up everybody, today we're going to talk about Aperture. So what is Aperture? Aperture is one of the three stable things in the exposure triangle which is used when taking photographs. The other two are ISO and shutter speed which we'll cover at a later date. Aperture is usually defined as the opening in the lens which allows light to enter into the camera. An easy way to think about Aperture is thinking about your eyes and your irises. When you're going in between dark rooms and light rooms the iris in your eyes expands and it also decreases in size so it'll go really small or go really large and that's the way you think about Aperture and how it lets in more light or less light. Normally in lenses you get a thing called Aperture aperture rings and that's how you control the aperture. The way they work is they go smaller and bigger to let in more light depending on what aperture you choose. So high numbers of aperture like f22 you have a really big circle so it lets in more light. However on the other spectrum when you use an f1.8 or f2.8 you get a really really small circle. So when you use an aperture that also controls your depth of field. As we discussed in the previous video when you're shooting at different apertures like f1.8 on the other side of the spectrum f22 the aperture rings in the lens is either going to be massive like that to let in loads of light or it's going to be much smaller and you're going to have a smaller hole to let light through. So when you're in low light situations to let in more light you need to drop your aperture down at f2.8, f1.8 or whatever the smallest you can get and on the opposite side of the spectrum if you're out in the sunlight and you want to capture that without the image being too bright what you need to do is go to f22 or something like that. That will increase the depth of field so there's going to be more of the image in focus however that's going to stop letting loads of light in and get your image overexposed. That's an overview of aperture which like I said was one of the three stable basics of the exposure your triangle and in the next topics we'll be going over the shutter speed and the ISO as well so you can see how to use them three together to get the perfect exposed image. Yeah.